Hello family, my name is Chris, I am your home gamer dad, and I welcome you to the digital dive of Splendor. In Splendor, you will be earning gems in order to be able to purchase gem mines, in order to be able to purchase even more gem mines, all the gems in the world, you will earn the uh, trust and respect of various nobles, and ultimately you are trying to gain victory points. First, the vic 15 victory points will cause the end game uh, condition to hit, and then at the end of that, whoever has the most points wins. Splendor is a fun one. It's a very simple game to teach. There's really not much uh, in terms of rules, but there's a lot of strategy to this game because you got to really determine what gems you want to take into your hand at first in order to figure out what cards you want to play. And because it's all an open market, you may be a little bit slow to buy a card and someone will grab it or vice versa. Uh, this is a great game to play like in between games uh, at like a game night and everything. This of course is a digital version of it. I'm playing this on Steam, but you can buy the physical version of this at your friendly local game store. Uh, the big box retailers that have really stepped up their board gaming like selections within the last few years have this, Amazon. I definitely uh, recommend everybody should have this game. It is a quote gateway game as a lot of people talk about. And it's just again, a lot of fun and uh, one that hits my table very often. Now, as far as uh, what this is gonna be, this is gonna be a best of three games that I play uh, going up against AI. Uh, the digital version of Splendor does offer online play, which I think I kinda, uh, yeah, yeah, I can connect to the cloud and there's other login methods. So if I go to my avatar here, you can actually see, no, that's okay, where, oh wow, that's weird. I wonder why my avatar didn't show up. Where do I wanna be, who do I wanna be? Where is my avatar? There's a particular, oh, Okay, apparently my, hello? <laughs> this is acting weird. Okay, well, I'm gonna be blank. So there you go. <laughs> Who am I? We don't know. Uh, my coat of arms and my color. You can sign in uh, to like uh, log into it in order to be able to play online and play other people, but I'm just gonna go ahead and play against the AI right now. Uh, that's all fine. I just wanna look at my options really quickly, make sure everything is set up the way it should be. You can make the AI go twice as fast, but I'm gonna keep it as is for right now so you guys can kind of see what the AI does uh, and get a better idea of how the game is played if you're not familiar with it. If you are colorblind, there is some fun colorblind help, help to it as well. Uh, you don't need to know the colors of the gems, but I don't know, that's how I look at it faster, but each gem is unique. Uh, as far as the digital version goes as well, uh, you can earn achievements as you go through it, uh, each one of your games. You know, maybe you want to play certain ways, uh, try to collect certain things. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of also DLC and everything that you can get from that here as well. So here's the expansion. But if you want to go to play, you can do an online game, as I mentioned. There are various challenges that kind of teach you different strategies about how to play the game, things to look for, and just to make you a better Splendor player in general. But I am just going to go for a regular play. And we will see, yeah, there I am. I don't know why I didn't show up before, it's so weird. All right, so we're gonna do a full four player game. So the base game does go up to four players. I don't think there's an expansion. Maybe maybe, maybe the uh, other expansion that's out now will make a five, six player, but I don't think it goes up that high. Um, as far as what the AI does, can I change their colors? Yes, I can. Right, so I just wanna change some colors around just to, there we go, we'll do that. Uh, you can um, set them to balanced. Specialized, opportunistic, random behavior, or secret behavior, so you don't know which one that they're doing. Uh, I'm actually going to do random for all of them because I'm not really too familiar with how each of one plays, so I like just kind of seeing, boom, what happens. Random player order is good, and then the basic rules. So we're doing classic. If you happen to get any of the expansions, you will be able to add these to your game. Uh, description of the Orient, uh, that's just the description of uh, that. Uh, but because I have the base game and that's it, we're just gonna do the classic way to play, which I will explain how to do it when we get into the first uh, round. Five nobles, each one of us will be able to collect one noble, so it's just one per player. Whoever gets a particular one first will grab it. Five gold tokens, I'm pretty sure that will always be that way. No matter how many players are playing, you'll always have five seven of each color token, that number will change depending on player count, and prestige points, these are your victory points. You need 15 in order to trigger the end game, as I mentioned, highest at the end wins. So, with that said and done, let's go ahead and play our game one slash tutorial game. 
All right, everything's getting all set up here. I am in position number four, so the computer is going to go first. On your turn, you have one of three different options that you can do. First is collecting gems, as you're seeing the computer doing right now. Uh, there's two different ways to collect gems. You can either collect one of three different color gems, or you can collect two of the same color gem. Uh, but you can only do that if the stack, I want to say, is four or higher. So I can right now do that on any one from black, red, green, blue, or white. Can't collect gold. Gold is getting, has gotten in a different way. Uh, but if the stack was lower than, I believe, three or less, you cannot take two of the same color. So then you're forced to take one of three different colors. You can only hold ten gems at a time. So once you collect them, be sure to spend them. Action number two, once you've started collecting gems down here, is purchasing cards from the market. Bottom left shows you how many of each color gem you need in order to purchase the card. When you purchase the card, you will get, first, a color gem permanently added to your tableau, which means for the rest of the game, this gem will be yours to use for future purchases. You will also possibly get victory points, which is right over here, the prestige points, as they call them. These are what you need in order to be able to win the game. So first person to 15 triggers the end. Once everyone else has had another turn, then that will be it. Um, and I believe, yes. So then the third uh, action you can take on your turn is you can claim a card. I can pick any card here, bring it to my hand, basically saying, this is my card. No one else can have this card. I can play it anytime I want. And then I could also gain one gold by doing that. There's only five gold in the stack, so once this is gone, that's it. I believe I said you can only have ten chips at a time, so you need to spend them, and uh, that's pretty much it. That's the game. That's really the game. So now I have to figure out what I want to take. I'm going to take this green, I'm going to take this blue, and I'm going to take this white, and that's going to end my turn. And now we just pretty much wait and see what all everyone else does. It's probably going to be a round or two before everyone else starts um, collecting cards. Depending on what everybody takes. So you got that, you got that. Alright, so can I, can I see what you all have? Alright, so we got some black gem. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take two black gems. See, okay, so I'm pretty sure I can't, oh no, I can't collect anymore anyway because I only take two. Uh, so this way on my next turn, I can collect this card and then I can permanently have a blue gem in my uh, inventory. And I'm going to leave this this way just so we can see what everyone's gem values are. And next turn, you're going to start seeing cards fly out from here. But I'm going to show you what it's like here. I'm going to pick this, purchase, and then it gets replaced. There are three levels of cards, one, two, three, obviously getting better as, you know, you go up the, uh, the stack, but uh, they also get more expensive. Uh, you get a lot of victory points at this top rack here, but you need them. And this is why you collect cards. You collect the cards in order to make permanent gems so you can buy the more expensive gems later on. And now it is our turn once again. Um, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take two. Can I, yes, I can, sweet, all right, cool. So that's four, so I bet you I wouldn't be able to take two again if there's only two in the stack. Uh, because in this case, I should be able to take this card then, because I have two blue, my permanent blue, and my blue chip, uh, chip, and then the two black chips that I took as well. So let's do that. One takes their stuff, and I'm gonna grab this. Hurrah, there we are. All right, so over here are the five nobles, and what they have are values on their side based on how many cards of that particular color you've collected. So in order to collect this noble, I would need to have purchased four cards that produce a red gem and four cards that produce a black gem. The first person to meet any one of these uh, criteria will get the noble and they will automatically get the points associated with such noble. So it's like an automatic thing. You don't have to uh, like uh, spend a turn in order to do it. You just get it. And I'm not really seeing very much here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a card. I'm going to take that card and I'm going to take a gold piece. So now this card is in my hand permanently and I can uh, work my way up to four green gems. Uh, over the course of the game, and then of course it'll give me a victory point, which is awesome. And then I get a gold gem as well, which will be able to be any gem I want. So it's a wild gem. All right, 
right, so what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? My turn. Um, hmm. I am going to grab... I'm going to grab a red. I'm going to grab a green. And I'm going to grab... Do I want to grab another blue? Um, do, 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 do. I am going to grab... I'm going to grab a blue. Cool. Awesome. Right, because I, I'm looking at these, because I, if I look at it, there's like a blue outline on some of these cards, uh, and it tells you, you can purchase that chip, or that card. And I'm like, can I really? Well, how can I do that? And I'm like, oh, right, because I have a gold chip, it counts as anything. But which one do I want to grab? Do I want to grab this one for three green? Uh, and then I would gain a black chip permanently. Yeah, I'm going to do that. We're going to grab this. There we go, I spent my gold, and that's that. So as you can see, in the beginning of the game, the strategy then is what cards do you take and how do you grab the chips from here? Because these are limited. Once a particular colored gem is gone, you can't collect it until somebody has played it. Ah, oh, man, I wanted that card too. Uh, I, need, I need green. Oh, man, one of the strategies that I like to do like early in the game is try to collect one of every colored gem. Uh, the problem here is that... So I'm going to grab you, you, you. Enter. Perfect. Uh, the problem is there's really no green gems down here for me to be able to grab. Uh, but having at least one of all permanent, uh, one of each gems permanently really helps reduce the cost of things later on, especially when there's multiple gems needed in order to get a particular card. Oh, I could grab that for another red, though. All right, so I have two choices. Um, I'm going to take this one. I like that one better. That looks good. Oh, that's a good one, too. Can I get that one? I can get that one, and that... Oh, you... Ah, oh, see? And there it is. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so you claim the card. Fine. And you took a gold as well, which is a thing. Good. And now it's our turn. Uh, so you have a card in your hand. I think that's... I don't know what that symbol... What is that symbol there? I'm not sure what that... Unless that's just a weird color... Um, all right, let's see. What, what do I want to get? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab another card. You can grab any card you want from the market. It doesn't matter. So I'm actually going to grab this and keep it in my hand uh, for as long as I can. So at least now I know I have a lot of victory points here that I can spend and like play later on. Um, I actually, I, you can only have three cards in your hand at one time. I thought it was unlimited. I apologize. It's only three at one time. Uh, so I need to start earning some green gems in order to be able to play stuff. But I needed uh, uh, the gold gem at the very least in order to be able to grab stuff. I don't want to spend this gold gem yet. I want to be able to uh, have, what is it? Uh, people throw down the green gems again in order to be able to grab stuff. So I'm just going to take, I'm going to take, I'm going to take... I want that black gem? No, I don't need that black gem. Actually, I'm going to take a black gem. I'm going to take this blue gem. And I will take this red gem so this way no one else can get it. So now I have eight gems out of ten. And next turn, I can buy this and earn victory. Ah, see, here we go. So there's a victory point. You have one victory point. Cool. I was wondering... Uh, I forgot uh, how they showed it off there. But no one should be able to purchase that. Right? Is that the one? Oh, no, I was looking at this one. Uh, this one I was looking at. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it for, for two uh, reds. That sounds good. Cool. All right. I definitely need greens. Oh, and I can get this green here. So we'll see how people play throughout the round. What are you doing? All right. You take that for two more victory points. What are you taking? You can't take it? No, you cannot. Oh, he could have. Oh, boy. All right. Grab you. Take my green. Beautiful. All right, so now I have one of each. That is fantastic. Green is a very big one right now. There's a lot of cards that require green uh, gems. You took one. I think I can take two green. Can I take two green at a stack of three, or does it have to be four? Let's find out. One. Nope, it has to be four. Okay, so let's put that back. And let's, uh, no, we need it because I can't purchase anything else. I could claim a card for a gold, but I think it's better for me to take a green. I'm going to take a green. I'm going to take a white. And I'm going to take... What else am I going to grab? Uh, I'll take a blue. 
That'll be fun. I feel like the greens are going to be snagged up again as they go along. Oh, just the card itself. Fun. Oh, ooh. Can I do that? Oh, I can. I'm short one white gem. Damn. All right. Let's see. What does Elf want to do? Claim the card. Fun. And I can claim a whole bunch of cards here. Do I really want... They're only producing uh, black colored ones, but I don't need that right now. Um, I am going to... I need you. Oh man, I need you, but I don't have... Uh, you know, I'm just going to claim it. I'm going to claim that, and then next turn I can play it. Because I have three cards maximum in my hand right now. I can play it to gain a green gem permanently and two victory points. And that should be good. And I got to also watch the nobles over here. What am I working towards? Okay, here we go. I actually am going to play this. Hey. Yes, purchase. Thank you. Boom. So now it's in my uh, inventory. I have three and I have two permanent greens. Awesome. All right. Cool. Our turn once again. I could claim this. You know what? I, man, do I want to do that? Or should I keep waiting to try to build up one of those? Um, and you know, it's always best to have them. So I am just going to take it. There is a limited amount of cards for each of the different levels. So the more you sift through the one, obviously the more that you're going to be purchasing and the better your, uh, your, your gem mines are going to be, the higher values they're going to have. Can someone play a green gem, please? Can you just throw a green gem down or something so I can purchase a green gem? Does anybody else have four? You do. Are you going to buy that? Now the question is, do I take two black gems and then possibly you purchase it? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to see what happens. Are you going to purchase that green? I hope not. Stay away from it. Yes. Awesome. Cool. Yes, you got two more, but I would rather have the uh, the green gem in my inventory. Good. Awesome. And what are you taking? Ah, you're just taking gems. Nice. So I will take this then, add one more victory point and another permanent green, and then I can actually purchase this one down here for another victory point and a permanent white. So that's awesome. Now I just got to start earning some blue in order to gain this. Good. So we'll go ahead and just purchase this one. And then I need to start grabbing other things. Now I should start grabbing blue. Now I need as many blue as I can get. I also got to watch the victory points here. You are getting very high, my friend. So you got that. Can I purchase anything? Oh, I can't. Oh, no, I can't purchase a thing. Huh. All right. So, with that said, I'm going to take that, this, and, oh man, I got to take one other color. Um, let's take, I wish there was a blue here, I would have taken the blue. Alright, I'll take the red. That opens up a little bit more, so I can at least collect this blue next turn. So that's good. Depending if it's still there. Oh, you claim. Ah, I love that. That's such a great card. The, like the, the these cards look exactly like they look like in the game with the pictures and everything you know displayed on them as you would see in the game itself so I thought that was really cool the way they did that um, could I definitely take these for victory points yes but I need blue because I really want to purchase this one as well I'm also really close what do I need I need three white three red and three oh, that's not close four and four maybe I should try to go for white red and black again I think I'm going to go for the victory point. Let's hold on to that victory point there. I know I spent the white gem, but that's okay. Ooh, 421, eh? Hmm. Ah, oh, you took it. Oh, man, you took it. You got your 11 points. Oh, wow, you are so close. You are very, very close. You're at nine. <laughs> okay. I'm at six. Oh, no. All right, here we go. My turn. I can get that for victory point and a blue gem. I will absolutely take that. Sure. It's fun just kind of watching the computer do its thing. Now, over here, if I click on these guys, you can actually see what they are. So it's like, I know that's uh, uh, 
specialized. I forget what this symbol is. I don't, I don't remember what each one does, but uh, they each have two cards in their hand as well. So I gotta keep that in mind. What do I want to do? I definitely need some blue, but I need some more, um, what else do I need? I definitely need, I'm definitely gonna take the blue. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud, and of course I'm talking at the same time. I want green, and I want, do I want white or red? I'm gonna take the white. That'll work. Not as many cards to purchase this way, but I should be able to get something as other things come. Oh, you got a noble. You got a noble, you're one away from winning. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I really should just kind of collect in order to try to get my noble. So, uh, yeah, let's go here, take that. And then if I can get, if I can get this card on my next turn, I should grab this noble, which noble? Nope, I'd still need a red. Oh, I grabbed the wrong color. Whoops. See, this is what I'm thinking. I'm sitting here trying to focus on other things and it's like, oh no. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take that. So now I need a red. Oh, congratulations. Who got the noble? Oh, I did. Oh, I didn't even realize I got her. Oh, cool. That was awesome. Wow. That's fun. Oh, and uh, players reach 15 points. The game will end after the current round. All right, so everybody goes, and whatever the final point values are at the end is it. Um, can I? I can't even purchase anything. I mean, I can, but like, all right. We get third. Congratulations to us. And that's it. Ended in defeat. So, yeah, I had 10 points. Uh, got your exact 15. 29 turns, 18 minutes. Not bad. So, see, again, very short, very quick and to the point, and just, you know, simple like that. And every turn, it was like, what card am I going to pick? If I held on to this, am I going to build up to it? I focus too much on trying to build up to that five point card that I completely missed probably tons of other opportunities in order to be able to get more points. Um, yeah, so that's a thing. So there you have it, everyone. Splendor. Game one, loss. In the next episode, we'll definitely have game two and three, um, pending I actually win one. Uh, we'll see, and uh, we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope this helped you learn the game if you're interested in picking it up. Uh, definitely check out the next episode to see how we go with it. Take care of yourselves and each other. We are family forever gaming together, and I will see you in the next one. Later, guys.